Hi and welcome to the sixth ArchiCAD video tutorial for beginners. Uh, this is where we left off in the previous video, but now I'm going to go back into my ground floor view. And uh, what I want to talk about in today's video is uh, the wall tool. I would like to maybe expand on it, how uh, to use it, and a bit more information about that. So let's go ahead. If we select our wall tool, uh, we can see this top bar over here with uh, a few of the settings of it like we've learned in the previous video if you want to see even more settings what you have to do is click over here and here you will find all of the different settings that you can change in the wall but first let's just stay here with this top bar over here and uh, here in the first um, area you can find the different uh, geometry methods you can use to uh, draw a wall right now we have the single straight uh, method selected if you uh, open this one you can see the other methods so the single chained rectangular and rotate rectangular uh, options um, they're, they're pretty self-explanatory so if let's go back to the single one if you have the single method selected you just do two clicks and you have one wall if you select this chain option you actually go once twice three times and whenever you're done you double click and then you're done and you have a chained wall if you select this third option so in order to change between these different um, methods what you need to do is hold this down and select another one so this is the rectangular version it's pretty self-explanatory and the last one is rotate rectangular so if you want to do a rectangle at an angle you just do two points and then the third one will be the length of the rect rectangle okay so these are the different geometry methods the second one is the curved option so if you select this you have again different ways of drawing uh, curved walls so the first one is center point and radius so you put the center point and then you do the radius you can input the radius if you don't want it to be random so let's say you want to do a two meter radius and the two meters that you input it are regarding the reference line so that is basically what we are inputting for the reference line so we have a curved wall as a circle you can you could do an incomplete circle so if you do the center and then you do the radius let's say the radius to be let's say three meters you can now do the either angle or the chord you can input here so if you want to input let's say not the angle but the chord I'm gonna do tab and then again tab and I'm gonna have a two meter chord for the round wall okay so the next um, geometry method is the circumference method uh, to be honest I don't really use these methods and at all so basically you just draw two points and then you can set the uh, circle like this but I honestly never use this and then the third one is in three points so you define three points and then you have a uh, curved wall a circle basically um, in reference to the to the three points that you drew out the trapezoid method basically you can input the thickness at the beginning of the wall and the thickness at the end of the wall so let's say if we do this to be one meter if we draw a wall the beginning of it is uh, 0 0.3 so th 30 centimeters and at the end it's going to be one meter thick uh, right now I'm just going to delete everything that I drew beside the initial rectangle that we had there in the middle and I'm actually gonna go back to this uh, chain to geometry method moving a little bit to the right over here you can see you can change the structure of your wall so we can either be basic composite or complex profile so this one is the basic wall this is the composite wall and this is the uh, complex profile type wall uh, as you can see here we had the composite wall option selected when we drew these walls and that's why we have two layers to the wall because it's a composite 
if we were to select this first option, if we draw a wall, we can see that we have a single layer in it. And with this basic wall, you can actually adjust the thickness. So this over here is the thickness of your wall. So right now it's set to 0 0.3 meters. If I'm going to set it to 0 0.4, and I draw a new wall, you can see it's thicker than the one before. So with the basic structure type selected, over here to the right, you can uh, change the structure so you can have the different type of um, uh, structure to your wall and you can change it directly like that so membrane steel structural and you can have all the different fills you can change these fills in settings and i'm going to show you later how you can do that okay so in this next little tab here we can uh, click on it it's the floor plan and section and here is how you can set how your walls look in your floor plan so over here you can change the cut line pan so if I want to have my cut line pan be red I can just select it and then if I draw another wall you can see the cut line is red if I want to change the um, uh, fill pans I can just uh, choose to change either just the foreground fill pan or the background one or both so I'm going to click on both and if I actually change this to green and do a wall the lines inside will be green because these are the foreground this is the foreground pan and if I change the background pan to let's say a lighter green color we'll have something like this so this is how you can change the appearance for a basic structured wall. Okay, moving forward a little bit to the right here, um, we can uh, see here how we can change the um, top and home of the wall and the height and home offset. I usually only always change this to be in accordance to project zero and here you can input the bottom elevation to project zero. So I usually leave this to zero and here you can change the height so let's say we have want to have a two meter wall I'm gonna just draw it and this is gonna be two meters if I select all of these and go in my generic perspectives by pressing on F5 I can see that all the walls have the same height except this one that we input it to be at two meters so this is how you input the height of your wall. So here, as I've told you before, is where you set the thickness of your wall. So let's say again, we're gonna do a thinner one, 0 0.2 meters, so 20 centimeters thick. And you're gonna have a thinner wall. In this next area, you can uh, set the wall complexity. So either straight slanted or double slanted. If I set the slanted option, you can input the angle. So automatically it goes to 50 degrees and if you draw a wall and you do a marquee around it and go in 3d you can see that it is slanted and the third complexity is double slanted so if you actually choose this last one you can see it automatically did one side to 50 degrees and the other one to, to 90 so if we do both to 50 we're gonna have a double slanted wall if we select it and go in 3D, you can see the double slanted wall. Okay, so now I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to press S5 to go in 3D. So we can see this building material option, what it does. Obviously it changes the building materials. So I'm going to select this wall. I'm going to click over here on the override surfaces and I'm going to override all of the surfaces. And you can see that the outside edge and then the top area is in stucco yellow and the inside edge of the wall is stucco white so in order to let's say we want to have them all be the same I'm just gonna click over here you can either you could either just change this third one or you could link the surfaces together and now all of the surfaces of the wall are, are the same let's say now we want to have it be paint red paint you can do that and if you do want to have one of these three uh, areas different you can just unlink the surfaces and then change just one and now you can see the core 
the edge surface is blue so this is how you can change the appearance in 3d of your wall now I'm actually gonna select this wall and change it from a basic wall to a complex profile and let's see what happens then if it is now a complex profile in 3d you can see nothing has changed and if we go in our 2d view we can see that it is no longer one simple fill but it has two fills because it is a complex profile so what a complex profile is is a wall that is composed of multiple multiple layers in order to modify this what you can do is actually create your own complex profiles so let's say that one that for one particular project you need the core of a wall to be 25 centimeters and the edge to be 10 centimeters so i'm gonna show you real quick how you can dimension a wall so you just click on it you can see the two points were then uh, automatically put on the side of the wall and I'm, you're gonna click ok you can see it's 0 0.3 meters so it's a 30 centimeter wall but I wanna see how thick the core part is, part is so I'm gonna select my dimension and do another click over here so I can see that the core is has 25 centimeters and the insulation is 0 0.5 so in order to modify these layers, which in ARCHICAD they're actually called skins, I'm going to go to Options, Element Attributes, Composites, and I, if the generic wall shell option isn't selected, then just select it, because this is the one we are working with here, generic wall shell, and you can see the 25 centimeter thick generic structural skin, and then the second one of 5 centimeter thickness so this is where you can input the thicknesses of the different skins so this one I'm actually going to change it to be 0 0.1 meters so it's going to be 10 centimeters thick uh, but I should have probably first said that this is where you have all of the different composites that come with ARCHICAD by default and you can actually just edit these ones or create your own you could either just create a brand new one if you click on new you can rename it and then you'll be able to just set all of the different layers you could duplicate the one that you're working with right now you could rename the one that you're working with right now or delete it um, another thing is if you want to insert even more skins you can just click over here insert skin it's gonna uh, insert one identical with the one that it is next to so it inserted this one and you could modify this one let's say you want to have another skin with a brick finish so you can just modify that you can modify the thickness of it so I'm gonna put this to be at 0 0.5 so with all of these settings you just have to play with and see what you want to modify in order to make the walls work for you over here in the lower right side you can actually change what the particular composite that you're working with is going to be used with so you can either uh, activate or deactivate um, these little tabs and then it's going to be used with wall with slab with roof and with shell so whatever if you don't want this particular composite to work with the shells you're just going to deactivate that uh, I'm actually going to remove this last skin. I'm going to click OK. OK, so that is how you change the thicknesses of your different um, layers in your composite wall. If you want to change the appearance of them, what you can do is select your wall and go to Options, Element Attributes, Building Materials. And you can see that the two different building materials that are used within your wall that you selected are highlighted so what we have in use is the generic exterior external cladding and the generic structural material so if I want to change the appearance of the generic external cladding which is the one that's thinner I'm just gonna say I don't want the 25% type fill but I want an um, insulation fill and I want the foreground line to be this type of gray and the background I want it to be transparent so I'm gonna set it to this 
and then for this generic structural one I'm gonna actually make it gray the fill I'm gonna leave it to 50% that's it but again I'm gonna go back to the generic external cladding and I'm gonna say this to uh, the orientation of the fill to be at element origin so you can see it like that and now it looks the way we want it and all of the elements that hadn't used those two materials have changed so even this wall changed and this one too because if we select it we can see that the material used is the generic structural type of material okay so the last type of structure that you can choose for your wall is a complex profile uh, this means that you can basically draw your own profile for a particular wall and then um, it basically has the profile that you drew. You can either choose one that's already been created in ARCHICAD or you can create your own. So if you go to Options, Complex Profile, Profile Manager, this little Profile Manager window appears and you can just click Edit and in this new window you can draw your the profile for your wall. So let's say that you want and you have to draw it in the form of a fill. So let's say that you want a 0 0.25 thickness for the wall and a height of let's say 3 meters. And now we can see our wall. And let's say we want to do a profile in it. Maybe at the very top we want it a bit elongated like that and with the part with an arc arc like that okay I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna say new profile one if I go back to my floor plan view and I select my wall tool over here I'm gonna select my new profile one for the wall I'm going to draw it out, I'm going to select it and I'm going to go in 3D and you can see that the wall has this profile to it. If you want to have it visible in the floor plan, the upper part, what you need to do is select the wall and then for the floor plan display you select projected with overhead and then you can see the upper part of the wall as well. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about um, our ref reference lines for the walls. Um, if I go back and change this to a generic, to a basic structure for my wall, I can see that when I draw, I have a main line, the one that is a bit thicker than the others, and the wall on one side of it. Over here I can switch the reference line, so you can see that either on one side or the other of the wall and if I select the wall I can even modify the reference line over here and I can say the offset of the reference line in regards to the face of the wall so let's say I want it to be at 0 0.1 meters I'm gonna click OK now the reference line is on the inside of the wall at 0 0.1 meters in the same way you can change the reference ra line for a composite wall as well so if you have a composite wall selected you can again change this to 0 0.1 and now the reference line is right uh, between the insulation and the structural part uh, and you do the same thing for a complex profile wall and you can also change the reference line okay so that was basically all I wanted to say now for starters about the wall tool in ARCHICAD, I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!